welcome back to my channel as you know I own a small business myself at Knits and Knots which is just crocheting different little pieces like headbands and beanies and animals and I have been doing this for eight years now March will be nine years so I wanted to share with you s some small business ideas that you could start yourself if you wanted to start a little side business yourself and earn some extra money. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and you find it helpful, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss any more videos on my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. The first one that you could do is be, you could become a virtual assistant. This is where you will help other business owners with a variety of administrative tasks like data entry, and book travel to writing blogs, posts, and scheduling social media content. You could become a proofreader. And this is simply where you just examine documents from writers, business owners, and other professionals for grammar, punctuation, spelling error, or you can become a freelance writer. And this is where you produce blog posts, research documents, white papers, and other types of written content. And the, with this one, you can work with websites and magazines, online journals, newspapers, and other businesses. Speaking of social media, you could, be, you could even become a social media manager. And this is where you will help companies create, schedule, monitor their presence on social media networks like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. In other words, you will be, you will be responsible for managing social media content, calendars, responding to comments and questions, creating images, and, do, and performing other tasks. Along with social media manager, you could even be you could do a Facebook ads manager, and this is where you can create ads and manage the Facebook advertising budgets and monitor their performance by analyzing the data provided in the Facebook ads manager dashboard. This is where you will learn to create effective ads, navigate the Facebook ad system, establish campaigns find your fresh clients, and even price your services. You can become a blog writer and you'll perform similar tasks as a freelance writer, but you'll publish the articles on your own website. So you can make money with a blog through advertising, creating courses, or even writing uh, ebooks. Become a resume writer and editor where you help clients write clear and effective resumes that stand out from that stand out to prospective employers. This may include proofreading and formatting their resumes as well. SEO consultant. This is where you will go through the websites, the company's website content and make suggestions on how they can improve their improve their search rankings and generate more organic traf traffic to their site. Email marketing specialist. This is where you will work with other businesses and companies to create email marketing campaigns. Tasks would include formatting newsletters, proofreading and editing for clarity and grammar, or creating graphs. You will also have to manage the email lists, analyze statistics, and write press releases. A low content ebook creator is where you can create your own low content ebooks and sell them through Amazon, your own website, or even on Etsy. If you love pets as much as I do, then why not become a pet walker or a pet sitter? 
this will be perfect for those who work outside of their home or those who have mobility issues where they will often need someone to walk their dogs during the day. Airbnb host. The only thing about this one is as long as it's okay with your landlord or your homeowner's associates, you will earn money from travelers looking for a place to stay. And this is a way for you to earn extra money by providing Airbnb experiences along with your list along with your listing like walking tours of famous local landmarks or Jeep tours of n near areas. This goes along with pet sitting. Become a babysitter. I mean, this is one of the most common, simplest um, ways for someone to start earning money, especially for the young teens. Many parents prefer to use a babysitter instead of a daycare to watch their children while they're at work. But and others like having a reliable babysitter so they can run errands, go to the gym, or or have have a child-free date night. You should consider this if you enjoy spending time with kids and have a flexible schedule. Repair computers. On computers, repair issues can range from fixing hardware, performing software updates, installing antivirus programs, or setting up someone's new computer. So you should consider this if you're really good at computers and, again, can have a flexible schedule. Plus, you can even offer phone support as an additional business service. You can be an insurance billing specialist, which is someone who works with medical providers and offices to to process claims for health care insurance. You might also be able to work as a freelance writer with medical facilities like hospitals or surgical centers. Become a transcriber. A transcriber is one who will listen to audio files and then they will translate them into text doc documents. Although, the one thing to remember about this one is that the formatting, the style, and the content of the transcription documents will vary from client to client. You can start your own house cleaning business. House cleaners go to other people's homes to provide specific or general cleaning services. A few of my friends actually started out working as maids at the La Quinta here, and then they actually got inspired to start their own cleaning services. And I've heard good reviews about them too. So who knows, you might become one of them. You can offer com commercial cleaning, construction site cleanup services, or even move out cleaning services to landlords. The thing is, you'll need to check with your city or your state to verify if you need any licenses, background checks, or special insurance before you can start a home cleaning business. You could become a vacation planner where you help clients book their next trip. You can assist them in making hotel reservations, airline or train tickets. You can book again, special experiences and dining reservations. A mobile or in-home dog groomer. Instead of your clients bringing their dogs to the pet salon, you bring the salon to their dogs. You can offer the same services from baths to nail trimmings to haircuts and teeth brushing, but you do it all in the home. It's particularly helpful for the elderly pets or the elderly owners who, or dogs with anxiety or pet owners who can't get to the salon during their business hours. Although to do this one, you will need some training and certifications as well as tools like clippers and a grooming table. This one is pretty obvious. If you do crafts like me, then become an Etsy store owner, just like me. You can turn your crafting hobby into a business by selling your homemade crafts or products on Etsy.com. Etsy allows you to sell anything, including knit goods, hand-painted glass glasses, and digital products. Plus, you can even link your Facebook account to your Etsy shop. It makes it simple to advertise and sell your products to a larger audience.
Become a custom gift creator. You can create custom gifts like quilts, t-shirts, board games, or picture frames and sell them at craft shows or through drop shipping sites like Shopify. A graphic designer can create visual images like logos, social media graphics, magazine or book covers, signs, brochures, infographics, and more. A graphic de designer can start by reaching out to small business owners and offer their services. Start a photography business. I have, I have quite a few friends, my own, who are amazing at photography that they start their own photography business and their pictures are beautiful. You can specialize in family or pet portraits, wedding photos, graduation, first birthdays, or headshots for resumes or even business sites. Plus, you can set up a studio in your own home and then consider renting a commercial space as your business grows. To do this, you will also need professional lighting and camera equipment. You can become an audiobook narrator. This is where you, you can start a business as an audiobook narrator for indie authors. This is where you can improve your skills and reach more clients by taking a by taking acting classes, practicing public speaking, or learning different accents or voices. Along with Etsy shop owner, you could become a quilter. I mean, if you're good with a sewing machine and you can use, then you can use those skills to offer services to people who, who would want their old t-shirts turned into a quilt. You can even expand your services by creating custom quilts for newborns, newlyweds, or for housewarming gifts. Become a book designer. If you have a knack for graphic design, then you can use those skills to work as a book designer. You can offer related marketing services like ad campaigns and social media graphics as ad additional rev revenue stream steams. With Event Valet, you'll be parking cars in small or tight spaces, driving unfamiliar vehicles, and keeping track of keys and which cars are parked where. But to do this one, you, you will need to be organized, detail-oriented, and comfortable driving automatic and manual trans transmission vehicles. Plus, you will also need proper insurance, and, and most importantly, you will need a valid driver's license. Become an errand runner. I mean, if you don't mind doing small everyday tasks, then you can start a business for running errands for other people. Services you could offer are picking up prescriptions or dry cleaning, grocery shopping, going to the post office, or even waiting in line to pay a bill or buy a product. Become a fitness instructor. This is where you will put together exercise plans, choreograph routines, and stay current on the latest trends and advice and to help your clients reach their fitness goals. You, although you, for this one, you will need some training and cert certifications, which will vary based on the type of training or instruction that you would like to provide to your clients. And you can work on a freelance or contract basis with the gym, or you can create a home gym and have clients come to you. You could become a meal planner or prepper. A lot of people don't have time or knowledge to create a meal plan or prepare their own food. So you can start this business by providing meals to busy families. With this business, you'll take the orders, cook the food, and then deliver it to your clients each week. But be sure to check with your state for any licenses or certifications you need before you start that kind of business. You become a music teacher. I mean, if you can play an instrument or two, then you can conduct lessons in your home, a music studio, or in your clients' homes. You can even host virtual group classes or create and sell online courses courses. You could become an online tutor. Students always need help in subjects ranging from math to history to physics. So by starting this a tutoring business, it can be a good option if you enjoy working with students and are an expert 
in <coughs> a, that subject. You can offer in-person services, meet with your clients in their home or public places, or you can even work just work an online tutoring company. If you're fluent in another language, become a translator or an interpreter. If you're fluent in another language and don't want to teach or want to find a way to supplement your teaching income, then working as a translator is a viable option. You can work in courts, schools, entertainment, or just find work by connecting with authors. Do appliance repair. This is where you will go into people's homes to fix items like washers, refrigerators, dishwashers, or even stoves. Do unit air conditioner repair. But with this one, you need to make sure that you verify with your state what type of licenses, insurance, or certifications you might need. You could do lawn care or snow removal. I mean, shoveling snow and moving lawns are tasks that many people do need to do, but they don't have the time, desire, or equipment to do it. So you can offer these services and any additional services for your customers. And finally, you could even do a tailor clothing alterization business. Prom dresses, wedding gowns, pageant dresses, suits, and even jeans need alterations. So if you're good with a sewing machine or thread and needle, then you can definitely start this business. I mean, you, this is where you can offer services independently or contract with some local formal wear shops or dry cleaners to provide your alterations as a freelance. That is it for my small business ideas. If you're interested in starting your own business, but you don't have an idea of what to do, then, then these will definitely help you. I actually just started mine just because it was a hobby and then people just started wanting some and they pay me for it. So then that is, so because of that, that's how I started earning extra money. So, but I, I don't do it for the money. I do it because I love making stuff for people. So I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments below which business idea is your favorite. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you'll never miss any more videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.